You know, we're on the subject of dieting and being overweight. We know that that's probably the single biggest medical problem facing the country. And right now, we measure obesity, being overweight, based on something we call BMI, body mass index, right? Mm -hmm. And what that is is your weight in kilos divided by your height in meters squared, okay? And there's four categories, normal, slightly overweight, moderately, and then grossly overweight. Well, what happens here is that it doesn't adequately measure the difference between muscle weight yeah. and true fat weight. So maybe we as physicians and everybody else out there should look at different ways mm -hmm. to gauge uh, yeah. One of the ways I like is, being, is like the hip waist ratio. Or, that, or that's one way you know, to do it. And I mean, obviously, the best way is to truly measure your body fat. So, one thing that we like to use, we recommend, is using calipers and pinching what you have in terms of. Are you game, mm -hmm. Jim? Sure. Do you do my baby fat? Well, <laughs> you, can, you can measure that too. Yeah. I guess you can measure the fat right. in the neck too. Okay. That, I've, that mm -hmm. I've never done. But. But you, you're meant here, to measure it here, here in the waist, and this is probably a better indicator of how much fat somebody is actually carrying. Or unhealthy fat. Unhealthy yeah. fat. Unhealthy fat. You know, so, so, in in so for a woman, 21 to 32 percent right. in their 20s or 30s the would be a normal body fat percentage, whereas for men, it may be 8 to 20 percent. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's a big and difference. Which, you know. Right, because women are supposed to be rounder because we have, you know, and also the fat produces like hormones, hormones and things yeah. like that.